You know, you got a pretty nice ship. It's no Sky Princess, but hey, what is? I had a ship like it once. No armor to speak of, but you don't need defense when you can maneuver like that. You're cute when you reminisce. Well, don't expect me to get all nostalgic. That ship's space junk now. But it was a thrill while it lasted. Nothing like playing chicken with a ship twice your size and then firing up his tail when he blinks. Sky Princess was great, but she couldn't do that. Would you like to fly the ship? <laughs> How do you Sith say it? My lord, it would be an honor. You just tell me where you want to go. Hey, you got time to chat? I didn't think you were the chatting kind. Haven't been aboard too long. Like to know who I'm working with. Nothing touchy-feely, just enough to know you got my back. Good. Because if you got all sensitive on me, I might not like you as much. Last time I cried, I was six years old. The old man shot me in the foot to shut me up. Besides, I've got a reputation to protect. Okay. But you still have to buy me flowers. <laughs> Alright, but let's get one thing straight. I'm a pirate, you're a Sith. I'm happy as any guy to give a girl what she wants. But I'm not your slave, right? I'm free to go anytime. You're free to do what you want. But I'd prefer if you stayed. Well, then you're in luck. Can't think of anywhere I need to go. Talk to you later, all right? You hear that, Sith? Nothing like it in the galaxy. The hum of an idling blaster. Potential energy right there. It's like waking up on your birthday wondering what you got. For a few minutes, it's anything. A whole galaxy just waiting for you to pull the trigger. What do you call it? Nah. Don't name my blasters. It's a bad idea to get attached. Actually, I was wondering. These blasters are nice, but a pirate's only as good as his equipment. We don't got fancy force powers like you Sith. I think I have a spare set here, if that's what you're asking for. I'll pay it back, Sith. Don't worry. Thanks. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Won it a few years ago in a fight against an animid pirate. Called himself the Fear. Kind of crazy, but great pilot and a great fighter. Blade's just ornamental, but he sure liked to wave it around. Worth a lot of credits from what I hear. And now you're giving it to me? I'm honored. A beautiful weapon for a beautiful lady. I know you got a lightsaber, but I figured you need something to pretty up the walls around here. I'm sorry I didn't get anything for you. I don't need anything. <laughs> Just like looking at you. In that case, thank you for the gift. Uh, it's nothing. Can't think of anyone I'd rather give it to. Information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around. And by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. There's nothing sensible about looking for a ghost in a frozen wasteland. Yeah, I guess if I wanted sense I should have stuck with killing and stealing. There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner, disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel, loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. Hope you've got your blasters ready. Just finishing the cold weather fittings, and I'll be ready. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block. So you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful though, place is crawling with pirates. And they aren't all as nice as me. You know, I think I heard the ship's engine making a strange noise earlier. Mind if I check it out sometime? I didn't know you knew anything about engines. Yeah, I've lived on ships most of my life. You don't do that without picking up something. I'm no expert, but a buddy of mine back before the war taught me most of what I know. Carl Norn, best technician I knew. Worst card player. Could never see when the deck was stacked against him. <laughs> and it always was. You have quite the colorful group of friends. 
Pirate business has all kinds of people. Made me first mate after the war, on a ship called the Bloodshot Ranker. I learned a lot before he gambled the ship away. But you're sick of hearing me jabber, huh? <sighs> Engine's fixed. Looks like we took on some rock on one of our last jumps. Nothing big. Reminds me of the time I took the Sky Princess through an asteroid field. The ship mechanics were furious. Clean rock out of our engines for weeks. Had to replace one of the rears, it was so badly damaged. What were you doing in an asteroid field? Dodging the enforcers. When you got a fleet of Republic ships on your tail, you take whatever cover you can find. Rocks don't have cannons. <laughs> Besides, what's life without a little risk, huh? That's why I became a pirate. The risk, the reward, the freedom. Perhaps I should take up piracy then. The Sith have too many rules. I think you'd be one of the best. Galaxy's only Sith pirate. You busy? I can think of a number of things we could do. I might have had the same idea. Let's say we find a quiet spot in the ship, get to know each other better. Let's find someplace quiet then. And dark. I like how you think. Have I ever told you how beautiful you are? I might have mentioned it. Well, I'm just gonna keep saying it. Hey, remember I was telling you about Carl Norn, great tech, bad card player? Got me into the pirate racket? Just got a call from him. He's in deep. The hot cartel on Nar Shaddaa's got his number. He deserves what he gets, but he's done good by me. I promised I'd meet him on Nar Shaddaa and help him out. I'd be happy to lend a hand if you need it. I appreciate it. But it's nothing I need to drag you into. I'll try not to be long, huh? So what happened with your friend Carl? Were you able to help him? Yeah, thanks for asking. Carl's same as ever. Never got a hand he didn't want to play. His debts weren't anything a few well-placed blaster shots couldn't settle. I wish I could have helped. You're a pal, but it would have been a waste of your time. Thanks for letting me bail him out. So, what's proper manners for asking a Sith Lord out for a drink? You know a good spot? And don't say, Moss Ela. That stuff is swill. I think I know a place. Do something. If you could live anywhere, do anything, what would you do? I always thought the pirate life sounded interesting. Not as interesting as this. Sure, it's fun when you're pulling in a big freighter, but most of the time you're just hiding, waiting. Used to think all I wanted to do was fly and fly and fly. Didn't matter where. But I like working with you. Ship's nice. The company's not bad either. Granted, I'm no lunk-headed pirate, but I think I deserve better than not bad. I'm teasing. Hey, who are you calling lunk-headed? Crazy Sith. I gotta come clean with you, Sith. I wasn't always the scoundrel you met on Tatooine. I used to run in the Republic military. Made captain before I wised up and deserted. Call it misspent youth. Why are you telling me this now? Carl sent me a message. I guess bailing him out got the Republic military's attention. Seems they've added treason to the charges of desertion and piracy. Guess they're not big on former officers traveling with a Sith. Anyway, if things get hot, I might need to hop off the radar for a while. If things get hot, this ship is the safest place for you. The Republic military police are no match for me. 
<laughs> Thanks. Good to know you got my back. Hey, I gotta run. Another friend of yours in trouble. Don't got time for questions. Someone from my Republic days has popped up. Someone I thought was dead. If I don't jump on this tip now, he might disappear again. I'll fill you in later. All right, I said I'd give you an explanation when I got back. Here it is. We were chasing down a free trader on a tip in neutral space when an Imperial fleet jumped on our position, blasted us to pieces. Guy who gave us the tip, an SIS agent, that spy to the Empire, named Harmon Reich. So you think Harmon Reich set you up? Could have just been bad intel, except Reich disappeared the same day. One of my old underworld contacts traced one of his safe houses, but Reich slipped away before I could get to him. I can understand not wanting to fight somebody else's war. I skipped out myself, but Reich owes me an explanation. I can see why you would feel betrayed. Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs>